What the heck is a redstone flying machine? And how do they work? I'ma be honest with you, I have no idea. Well, I know what a flying machine is, but I don't know how, the, how to build one. So, yeah, I guess video's done. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> so, this video is going to be vastly different from the redstone components video because I don't know how to build a flying machine. What I'm going to try in this video is I'm, I have a timer set for one hour on my phone. I'm going to use that hour to attempt to make a working flying machine just from memory. Spoilers, probably not going to go well, but I figured I'd give it a shot and see how close I can get to making a functioning one. I haven't looked anything up before starting this video. I only have a very vague knowledge from what I've seen from like other YouTubers about uh, how flying machines work. So, without further ado, I think I'm going to start the timer in three, two, one. Go! Things that flying machines are made out of. It is slime blocks, sticky pistons, and observers. I think there are redstone blocks sometimes, all the time? I don't know. Because I think the way that it's supposed to work is like... <laughs> oh boy, I can already t <laughs> I can already tell this is oh this is gonna be rough. Okay, so we we gotta have our like starting device. So if I do something like that, does that work? No. Let's I activate that. Okay, so we have we have gotten a little bit of movement. But now our observer has become detached from the sticky piston. So now how do we get this one to move forward? Uh, that's, that's the thing that I can't wrap my head around, is how we get the first piston started. Because you can't have any, like, redstone dust or anything, so it's all gotta, like, loop back into itself. <laughs> well, that it wasn't flying, it was doing something, but <laughs> Okay, maybe maybe doing a vertical one would be easier. Okay, good thing to know. Slime blocks do not transmit redstone signal? So piston facing down will not push itself up. It's not like you on a pogo stick where like if you push into the ground, it will just send you up instead. So, it'll only work if it's pushing up from the ground. Okay, so that just created a bud. <laughs> okay, well, 
that's interesting. Shoot. I feel like that's getting closer. I feel like that's closer to what we want, but it's not quite. So, let's see. So what's the issue here? So we've got this activated by the redstone block. When we push it up, the observer... Actually, is the observer doing anything in this? Is that all the redstone block? It's like... On. Okay, what happens if we, like, remove that one? This is incorrect, just by the simple fact that I have to use honey blocks in order for this to maybe potentially work, but... You know what? I'll try anything here. Who knows, maybe I'll be a genius and come up with a more compact way to make a flying machine. But, I... I doubt it. Because... <laughs> I, I feel like the way this has to work is in almost like a rotational kind of way, where like, you know, there's one piston that pushes up, then there's gotta be, cause the, you have one piston that's pushing, and you have to have another piston that's pulling the rest of it with it. Otherwise, you're gonna leave the con rest of the contraption behind, and then it's not gonna work. So you have to have... Would it be, like, two pushing and one pulling? Oh. Well, that was... that was kind of promising. Oh, I feel like we're so close! That looks... That looks really close to being correct. Man, this looks so close to being right. I just... I don't know how to... Because it has to be off in order for it to get pulled along. But I don't know how to make that delay long enough that this one's off by the time this one's trying to pull it. Because, like, I kind of need it to be pushed off of this block first. So maybe, actually, this is our starting point? No. It's so close, like, I feel like I'm just, like, missing a, like, tiny detail, and I would have it, but it's just, it's not going. Okay, well, unfortunately, my, uh, timer is up. Yeah, I did not get a <laughs> functional flying machine going. Ah, oh, I feel like I got way closer than I expected. But, again, I feel like I'm missing some, like, key detail or just, like, missed one tiny thing that would have made it work. Because I feel like I can understand 
how the mechanism is supposed to work. I just... I can't get the pieces to work in the right order. So, uh... What I'm gonna do... I'm going to... Uh, look back at the footage and see what the the closest thing I had built looked like and then compare that to a functional one so uh, I'll be back in a in a second okay so I recreated what was closest to what I could get working, which was this one, which looked extremely promising. And do you want to know why that is? Because it's, it's literally, if I would have replaced this obsidian with another observer, it literally would have worked. Like, le legitimately, if I replace that with that... Oh, well, let me remove all the hang bits. If I just sort of done that, it would have worked perfectly. <laughs> Do you want to know why mine didn't work, or why I didn't think of that? Because, again, I knew I was forgetting some minute detail that would have made this so much easier. And that's because the reason that works is because regardless of what the observer is looking at, if you move the observer at all, it still fires a pulse. So, in a weird way, Observers are always observing themselves, as well as whatever block they're looking at. That is the tiny detail that I missed that caused mine to not work. And on the one hand, I'm like so frustrated that I overlook that, but on the other hand, like, I almost got there. Like, I was legitimately one block off from creating a flying machine from memory. Now, soon in the uh, Road to Hermitcraft series, I do want to build a flying machine elevator. I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do. So I'm gonna do a little bit more research and try and come up with a two-way elevator design. Look, Mom, flying! And we've reached the top. Yeah, honestly, that's, that's a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. Oops, we picked up a straggler there. <laughs> In order to make the elevator I was thinking of, you literally just need, like, that little motor that I showed you before, but just in a vertical orientation, and just a few extra slime blocks over here to create the platform you're standing on. And then, in order to activate at the top, it's actually a lot easier just because uh, you're activating the top observer float on down to the bottom. It is a bit of a bumpy elevator so I would not want to take this in real life <laughs> but you know it it works pretty well overall not that bad. I really thought it was going to be more complicated than this but you know, here we are, flying on an elevator all the way up. Well, alright. I hope you guys found this video interesting. I certainly learned a lot. Gonna give myself a pat on the back by saying I almost got there. <laughs> if you want to figure out how to make these yourself, 
and make more complicated ones, I recommend Mumbo Jumbo's video called Giant Minecraft Machines Are Embarrassingly Simple. Uh, I'll put a card up in the corner and I'll put the video in the description because that's the video that I use to figure out how to do this. And that video goes over a lot more complicated things than just making a tiny elevator that goes up and down. <laughs> if you guys want to see me do more stuff like this in the future, you know, leave a comment and a like down below and let me know what you want me to tackle next. I do have, again, a few ideas that I mentioned in the previous video, but, you know, I'm always open to, like, trying to figure out new things. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. Uh, my name is Battery, and I'll see you later. Whee!